The most dangerous of the world's more than 1,500 active volcanoes are given a special designation termed a Decade Volcano. This group of 16 volcanoes includes Mount Vesuvius in Italy, Mount Unzen in Japan, and Kalima in Mexico. Of this group of exceptionally dangerous volcanoes, only one is located within South America, where it is located in the nation of Colombia. Despite producing one of the deadliest eruptions of all time, the volcano known as Nevado del Ruiz is not considered to be a decade volcano. Rather, the volcano which earned this designation is known as Galeras and is far more dangerous. It has a history of large explosive eruptions, massive summit collapses, and more than one million people live on young collapse deposits around this volcano. It is by no means an exaggeration to say that if another partial summit collapse were to occur, 500,000 deaths would be caused if scientists were ignored like during the Nevado del Ruiz eruption. This video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Galeras volcano can be found in southwestern Colombia. The closest major city, Pasto, with a population of 350,000 lies a mere 8 kilometers to the east. This minuscule distance from the peak of Galeras puts it within range of lava flows, lahars, pyroclastic flows, and landslides. The Galeras stratovolcano is one of the oldest still active volcanoes on the planet and contains several older eruptive centers. The scars left by the earliest phase of activity one million years ago can just barely be made out in the landscape due to the circular calderas left by large eruptions. These five calderas are centered around the city of La Capana and formed between 990,000 and 795,000 years ago. Eruptive activity did not move into the modern location of the stratovolcano until 790,000 years ago when a new eruptive phase began. Over the next 200,000 years, a towering gray stratovolcano was constructed out of andesite lava and ash. However, during this time period, the western edifice began to show signs of structural instability. Then, 560,000 years ago, a massive explosive eruption occurred. This eruption devastated the surrounding landscape, eventually resulting in the formation of a 5-kilometer wide caldera. Since then, eruptions have been exclusively centered on the eastern edge of this caldera, which slowly built up a new volcanic cone. During the last ice age, this cone became tall enough that it was covered by a thick series of glaciers despite being essentially at the equator. However, this cone also showed signs of structural instability. Then, 18,000 years ago, the existing volcanic cone collapsed to the west. Material from this large eruption traveled more than 20 kilometers before it stopped, covering a vast area with several meters of volcanic rock. However, this did not release all of the strain from the volcano. Over the next several thousand years, prominent cracks propagated on the western side of the volcano, which soon turned shades of red and yellow, indicating even more structural instability. Then, 9,000 years ago, a several kilometer wide section of the volcano collapsed once again to the west, resulting in energetic pyroclastic flows and landslides covering 600 square kilometers. Although this landslide was focused to the west, it also created a large blast wave which knocked over large swaths of forest including what is now the town of El Pasto. In the last 4,500 years, a new volcanic cone has once again grown out of this collapse scar, but, you guessed it, very prominent signs of structural instability are once again quite obvious. Although a major eruption has not occurred since, the threat of the next eruption producing another major caldera collapse is a real and present danger. Since 1535, Galeras has erupted 37 times. The most famous of these eruptions occurred in 1993, which led to the deaths of several tourists and scientists who were adjacent to the peak of Galeras when it unexpectedly erupted. The problem with this eruption was the problem with the overall volcano. It's tough to predict. Take a look at this graph which shows the harmonic tremor, indicating overall level of volcanic activity. The day of the eruption, activity had been rapidly decreasing for more than a month. In the years since, improvements to predicting volcanic eruptions have been made so a repeat of this disaster does not occur. Galeras last erupted in 2014 and will certainly erupt again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.